Yo, what's up, guys? Once again, it's your favorite streamer, Killer Keemstar, back with another video on another Rubik's Cube. Now, this one, we don't really want to call it a cube, because you know why? Because it's not a cube. It's one-third of a Rubik's Cube. Hold on, let me get my... Let me get my uh, good old uh, three by three here. See, see, it's 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 one third of a three by three. That that's that's just what it is. As you can see here, one third. It's just one third. See, one third. Crazy here. Yeah? All right. So, anyways. I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the floppy cube. This is a really old cube, and I had trouble getting my hands. Well, I actually never did get my hands on an original one. But it's fun because I have this one. And I just got this off of Amazon, but I, like, searched really well for it. And this thing was, like, 25 bucks. And I think it was worth it, because it spins really good. Like, it hardly gets stuck. And it's like, it sounds like it's dying, but it's really not. Like, with this one, oh god, this thing is scary. Like, I have two. This is my good one. This is my, like, terrible one. And uh, if, I, if I lost them, I, I would probably be scared, because I have trouble telling them apart so this is my good one as you can see it spins really well on pretty much everywhere it's like you get stuck sometimes like let me see like see it's like if you're trying to go fast it'll get stuck a little bit but that's fine but this one is like it's like you can hear just it dying you have to like sometimes you can't even spin it one way like it has to like turn around and I don't know it's just it's just not a good it's just not a good site so let me solve it real quick and I'm going to be teaching you how to solve this boy this boy right here if I can freaking solve this one. Oh my god uh, okay thank god that's over now we got the good one oh that feels so much better okay so is how to solve the floppy cube. Like I said, the floppy cube is a really old cube. You could just go on Amazon and search floppy cube, and you could find one that's this quality, like, like really bad at turning and stuff. But <coughs> you can find one if you look hard enough, like a, one that good, like that turns really good. And you could find like the original one, but it's like a hundred bucks, and I'm not down to pay a hundred bucks for a root cube. So, this is the floppy cube. Um, it's a one by one by three. It's a, uh, it's a great cube. It's a loyal cube, if you find the right one. But, um, I'm basically going to teach you how to solve it, so, let's just... Like, you can literally keep mixing it up, and you'll probably end up solving it. That's honestly... Because with this, you're always nine moves away from solving. So, like, watch this. Let me go... So, like, watch. One. And then... Hold on. Like, watch. It's literally always nine moves away from solving. So, one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like nine or less moves to solve, but I am going to teach you how to solve it right now. This is probably going to be an unedited video. Um, I'm not going to put the algorithms on the screen, but I'll say them. <coughs> There's really only one algorithm you need to know, to be completely honest with you. Because this is a really easy cube to solve once you get it. So, 
The first thing you're going to want to look at is the outer band, as you can see. That's what you're seeing right now. Um, and by the way, like, literally the oldest video on how to solve the floppy cube is, like, or, like, the nearest one is, like, seven years old is what I found. But, yeah, um, you're going to want to solve the outer band. Obviously, I want green right here and blue up here, so I'm just going to switch that. Now, that's solved. And then over here, like, you could have, like, this. And then all you're going to want to do is just turn it so the yellow is under this. And then, okay, I solved it. Wow. This is such an easy cube. You could probably figure this out even without a tutorial. I mean, I did, honestly. I figured this out without anything. Because I just did, like, the righty alb with a 3x3 three three over and over again. Well, not over and over again, but once I had the outer band solved. And that's basically what you need to do. So let's get the outer band solved, and then boom, the outer band is now solved. What you're going to want to do is U, R, U, R, U, R, and then you turn it over to where there's two, and then they're on the top right, and then you do it again. U, R, U, R, U, R. And then, boom, it's solved. That's basically it. I mean, there's algorithms that you can do when, for an example, it is... Hold on. Let me get it into that position. My whole thing just probably snapped on me, but it's okay. Like, hold on. I need to move this. Now we're good, are we? Yep, we're good. Um, okay, we don't want that, but, like, you can have, like, a checkerboard side, and there's, like, an algorithm you could do to get it solved straight from there, but I don't know it, because I, like, self-taught myself with this, but, boom, it's solved, but, um, you can look on YouTube, like, um, floppy cube tutorials. I mean, this basically has what you need, since, like, look, you can literally, like, I showed you how to solve the other, oh my god, it's solved. I swear, this thing. Okay, let me, let me mix it up. Okay. Um, boom, like that. See, like, there's an H right here, and there's, like, an algorithm you could do to solve that, but literally, this is all you need. You just need the righty alg. You just need the righty alg. And then see, you turn it over, two dots. Boom. You just need the righty alg. You just need the righty alg. You don't always need to solve it in nine moves. Remember that, like, like, there's not really any competitive matches with this thing anymore, but that's just if you want to solve it. But this is a really interesting cube. Well, let me get my broken one. Um, you can, like, freaking do all this crap with it, you can like turn that, you can like freaking like do this, you can you can do anything, like anything is possible with this thing. <coughs> like look at that. Like what? It's like not even physically possible. Like look at that. But you can just easily get it back. Let me get this. Boom bada bing. Boom. Now let me solve it. Sometimes it gets messed up. Like right now it's not messed up, but sometimes it gets messed up. Jesus Christ. You hear this thing? I can't even turn it. I, I can't even turn it. Okay, there we go. Solved. Okay, get out of my face. But, yeah. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what you, The floppy cube. That's literally, like, I just got this thing in the mail right now. This is obviously my new one. And it works great. I forget, like, which one it was on Amazon. But, yeah, that's it. This is going to be an unedited video. It's just going to say how to solve the floppy cube. But, uh, yeah, that's basically the video. I'll do how to solve a 3x3 three three video maybe, like, tomorrow or the next day. And then I'll probably stop with the Rubik's Cube videos for a little bit. Until I learn to solve more. But, um...
But yeah, that's basically it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed. Or, okay, I always mess up on my outro. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you have something to say for the video, please comment that down below. And as always, subscribe and share with your friends. Goodbye.